Good morning, everyone. This is Tim Wilmot speaking from Wizard Systems. Thanks for joining me today for Goldmine 101, our regular series of short Goldmine presentations focusing on different topics. And this morning, I'm going to cover how do you track your customers' interests in your different products and services in Goldmine. Now, this presentation will be about quarter an hour or so in duration. It's just an overview of these different ways uh, that I can show to you. It's not meant to be in-depth uh, training. My company, Wizard Systems, offers many extensive training options uh, for you should you want to explore them with us. Now, on the call today, we've got people using all sorts of different versions of Goldmine. Um, pretty much everything I'm showing is relevant to all versions, uh, but I will be showing you the latest uh, release of Goldmine. Now, the audio part of this presentation is one way only. Your microphone is on mute. If you've got any questions, please type those into the question section on your meeting control panel, probably lurking in the top right corner of your screen, and I'll do my best to answer those uh, towards the end. Also, at the end, I'll be giving an update on any Goldmine product news. This call is being recorded. After the presentation, you will get an email from our system with a link to recording, so you can play back at your leisure, and we'll try and post it to our YouTube channel as well. Okay, so let's get started. As I normally do, just a very brief mention about Wizard Systems. Over the last 24 years, we've implemented well over 3,000 goldmine systems all over the UK into all sorts of different types of companies and size the companies from sole traders right up to some very large installations of, of many hundreds of users. And we provide lots of different services around Goldmine, implementation help, upgrades, training. We can train you at your premises. You can come to us. We can do it online. And we've got a Goldmine help desk uh, service here as well. We also do provide a wide range of Goldmine, popular Goldmine add-ons that extend its functionality. Obviously, Goldmine won't do everything. Uh, but there are some very popular add-ons to Goldmine, and we actually supply and support the top uh, 12. So, let me take you into Goldmine proper and go through a few different ways of tracking customer interests in our products and services. So, here we have a standard Goldmine screen a contact record, and going in level of sophistication now, um, going in, in, in level as, as regards how elaborate these different options are for tracking products and services. Option number one, you could have a field on your customer contact record, as I've got here, to track a client's interest. Now, of course, a customer may have over time multiple product interests, of course. And that's the whole idea behind this particular field here and the pick list entry, this F2 list here of all the different uh, options that you can have. So I could select um, one of those, for example, but I could then go back into this pick list and select a second uh, area of interest. Notice uh, the syntax of these entries. So I have a, a short code representing that product, and then a semicolon, and then two forward slashes, and then a description of what that code represents. So users can just select an item, go back to the pick list, double click or select. There we are, a way of recording multiple interests against that client. And that's an easy way, that, this is also a very easy way of finding this information and creating filters and groups on this information. I mean, why, why do we want to record a client's interest? We want to be able to report on it. We, maybe we want to use this for some kind of proactive marketing campaign. Uh, th this is uh, a, a very simple way of doing this as regards, uh, as in relation to a field against your contact record. Option number two now, slightly more sophisticated than that, is to have a tab on the main contact record tab bar there, in my example here, called interests. And this is where, again, we could enter in the multiple interests of this client, but maybe store a little bit more background information against those interests. I mean, my first option was just a very simple code. 
um, but we could we could really go on to define a, a make or a model or some other more detailed information. So this is the whole idea behind the, this interest tab where we've got these different columns. Here do you see where, in my simple example of tracking hobbies, I could then see all of the additional bits of information against those interests. So this is called, the actual proper name for this in Golma is called a detail record. So you define a detail record type, in my example, hobbies or interest, and then you can pop it on a tab on its own, just to make it a little bit easier to, to see um, and for your colleagues to use. Option number three, slightly more sophisticated now, is to track interests as an opportunity, as a more complete sales inquiry. So, of course, this is a, a fundamental part of any decent CRM system to track your sales pipeline, your sales forecast, and the opportunity manager in Goldman allows you to track a lot more information about this, this area of interest the client may have that will hopefully result in some kind of a sale or revenue to your company. So here on the opportunities tab of the client's record, we can see a couple of opportunities on the go here. And we can see some base, basic information about them as regards their value, how old are they, what's the status or stage of, of dealings with this client on these opportunities. And of course, you can double click on any of these at, to zoom into the opportunity proper. And we can see a lot more information, a lot more background information against this uh, this interest as regards its type and running across the middle of the opportunity screen you've got the opportunity tab bar where you can if you want to track a lot more detailed information as regards the activities against this interest the tasks issues notes documents uh, against this interest as well so three quite different ways of tracking product interest. There's nothing stopping you using a combination of all of those in various degrees of sophistication and quite easy to find information as well. So if you wanted to maybe create a list of everyone that's interested in some kind of product, well, my option number one, where we've got a simple field there, I can do a quick search on that interest field and um, actually do a little search there of all of my customers that have that level of interest or interest in this particular product or service. There they all are there. I could save that list for some later use or straight away here, I could send them all a letter with Goldmine's link to Word. Uh, there's extensive email merge, email marketing options uh, available with Goldmine as well. And or you could schedule a phone call if, if you're using Goldman for tracking your outgoing phone calls, then that too could be used to initiate a call in one simple process to all of those people interested in that particular product or service. So that's using the field. Um, going back to my interest tab, if I want to look up or create a group, well, there's a few ways of doing this, um, looking at a particular product interest. So there we are looking at everyone in my database now that's got an interest of golf. And then as regards opportunities, well, again, you can create groups or use the SQL query builder tool to help you build a, a list of everyone that has a, a particular opportunity on the go. So there's the three general options that the main options that we find people are using Goldmine for tracking uh, interests in Goldmine. What I'd like to do now is open out our call this morning to any questions you've got around this or indeed any other Goldmine topic that's on your mind. So please uh, type those into your question box in a meeting control panel and I will read those out. So first question from Lindsay, what happens when a customer is no longer interested? Good question. Well, of course, you could remove the relevant entry if it was a field entry or one of those uh, detail records on my interest tab, or if it was an opportunity, then of course uh, you would 
close, you would complete the opportunity as a lost sale. So there are a few different options there. You could also create another field in your Goldmine system for tracking um, whether someone is active or non-active with your organization. So a few ideas there, um, Lindsay, on how you might do that. Um, next question from Andre, will all will all three options show up on Goldmine Web? So Goldmine Web uh, is, is the part of Goldmine, it's included with Goldmine, it's a way of accessing your Goldmine system live via the web, of course, with, with the uh, name Goldmine Web, and also via a smartphone as well. Uh, yes, Andre, it will. Uh, obviously, the, your, your screen will, as you know, the screen will look different um, if you're looking at it on a smartphone. But yes, uh, an interest field, an interest record type, your opportunities are all visible, accessible via Goldmine Web. Okay, I don't think there's any more questions coming through there. If any late questions come through, I will answer those uh, separately via email. Uh, just to bring you up to date with Goldmine News, we have a Goldmine Advanced Training Course on October the 11th. You'd be very welcome to attend. This is aimed at, uh, of course, more advanced users, um, power users. We go through filtering and grouping uh, in a lot more detail and uh, all, all, the, all the advanced features, email marketing as well, that's all covered on our advanced course. Please contact me for more information on that and pricing. We had our fourth hot fix for Goldmine uh, recently. The latest release of Goldmine is 2016.1. 2016.2 is expected in November sometime, so not far off. And we'll, we'll have a lot more features added to the Goldmine web capability of Goldmine. As always, please email me for any suggestions on future topics. My name again is Tim Wilmot, tim at wizard-systems.com. But thanks very much uh, for your time this morning and for watching, and we hopefully catch up with you soon. Thanks very much indeed.